Hey guys, I'm Chris Ignato, and you're watching my YouTube channel, so thanks a lot for that. Now, this video here is going to be about the Velvet Ant, also known as the Cow Killer. And as you can see, they're really fast, so it's actually pretty hard to film these guys. It's taken me a couple weeks to get the footage for this video. So that's why you'll notice different habitats in some of the clips, but you know, that's what you have to do sometimes. So, hope you enjoy the video, and let's check out the Velvet Ant. Velvet Ants are actually not ants, they're a type of wasp. And uh, they're really neat how they live. They're not a social wasp. They live pretty much solitary. This is the female because she has no wings. The males have uh, long black wings. They hold them together over their backs when they're not flying. And the males go around looking for females to mate. And these females and the males of this species, they're pretty much active during the day and night. They're also very fast when they want to be. So it's generally, it's usually really hard to film these little... Uh, velvet ants. They're also known as cow killers because people think that their sting is so powerful that it could kill a cow. I don't think that's true. However, sometimes cows would be feeding on grass and one of these would go up their nose, get trapped, and wind up stinging the cow. Velvet ants also squeak when they're alarmed and stuff like that. So um, if they're disturbed, they might squeak using these hairs on their abdomen in the segments. They'll rub them together somehow and cause a squeaking sound. So hopefully I'll be able to show you that. See, she'll squeak now because I'm pressing on her only lightly. I don't want to hurt her. I had to put her in a jar just so I could keep her still long enough to photograph and film. Because as you can see, these guys never stop moving. They're so fast. They're so quick on the feet. So check out the sheen on the hairs on their backs. It almost reminds me of the polished tiger's eye stones you find at the store. They don't sting often, you know, they're, they're not exactly bad-tempered little people. But if they do sting, it's considered extremely painful. In uh, North America, the pain chart for stings goes up to four, and these guys are three out of four for the pain chart. Uh, and I saw one resource, one guy that actually, a scientist, an entomologist, that classified it as a three and a half out of four. See, she's not trying to hurt me or anything. Being totally fine. Fairly placid, actually. Part of that's probably because they have such a powerful sting. They know that they could defend themselves if they if they need to. Okay, so there you have it. That's the Eastern Velvet Ant. Now, they're really cool, right? But an interesting thing about them is they are parasites. So when the female is walking around all the time, one of the things she's doing is she's looking for signs of ground bees and wasps, you know? She's looking for their burrow. She'll dig down and find their egg chamber and she'll lay an egg on basically the developing larva or eggs of that host species. The Eastern Velvet Ant, she goes for cicada killers. They're pretty big. It's a huge wasp. And, um, you know, she'll go in there, she'll lay the egg on the, the larva or whatever. As her egg hatches, it'll feed on the other larva. So that's, that's kind of sad, you know, babies feeding on babies and all. But that's how it is. That's how nature is. That's how they evolved. Um, and, you know, as you can see, they're not the most aggressive things in the world, right? I was handling her a little bit roughly, trying to get her to make her noise. And, um, you know, I was pressing lightly, but still, she was agitated, and she still didn't try to sting me or do any threat displays. So, you can see that they're, they're not the most aggressive creature. 
Okay, so another thing is that's kind of interesting is the males also make a noise, but it's different from the female. They'll use their wings, and it's sort of a honking noise. I haven't heard it. Um, but they'll use it while they're mating, and then she'll make noises back and stuff during the whole process. But he does something to her that kind of alters her sound. I don't know a whole lot about that, so I'm not going to talk much about it. So that's pretty neat. Another very interesting thing is, is I've read that there are some entomologists who collect these you know, specimens and stuff and keep them for their collections, they'll have trouble pinning them with the pins because their exoskeleton is so hard. And I was thinking about that. Well, it's probably hard because they're raiding wasp and bee's nests. If an adult wasp or bee finds the velvet ant, it'll probably try to sting it. And that hard exoskeleton probably makes it really hard for that to happen. So, um, you know, there you have it. Uh, vel Eastern velvet ant, really cool species. Other species will feed on other insects, you know, and stuff, but as a whole, the adults feed on nectar and pollen and that kind of stuff. Um, you know, and some fruits and things like that, and maybe even some other insects, who knows. But uh, thanks for watching my video. Please hit like, uh, hit subscribe for more videos, and I'm Chris Ignato. Thanks a lot. Signing out.